Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today I'm going to be taste testing something that was brought to my attention a few years ago. It was actually sent to me in little tiny packets and it's a powder that thickens beverages, coffee, orange juice, water, coke in today's case for people that suffer with dysphagia, which is a general term for those that have trouble swallowing, particularly liquids. So this powder is added, it's thickened up so that the water or beverage that you're drinking has a easier time going down the right pipe rather than going down your airway into your lungs, which can cause all kinds of trouble like pneumonia, and that's why you cough, you want to go down to your esophagus, down into your stomach where it's supposed to go. And that is why we choke, by the way. It's your body's way of immediately getting that water or whatever is going down the wrong passageway out because we don't want water food in our lungs. So, dysphagia, and this is the product I'm gonna be testing today. I could only find a giant container. This particular product is called Thicket, and basically it gels up beverages. And in terms of its ingredients, it's made from modified cornstarch and maltodextrin. So cornstarch is starch that's derived from corn. Usually it's a white powder when we use it for cooking and it needs a little bit of heat to do its kind of thickening thing. So I'm very curious to see what this is going to be like. It says that it does not change the flavor of anything so I'm going to be testing it with water. So it should still taste like water but it's going to have a different consistency. It's going to be thick. Here's the thicket, the thickener, and if you look on the side here it shows you a little chart of how you can make it. You just add a scoop of this or the amount that's listed on the chart to four ounces of water. You mix it well and then let it sit for one minute to do its thing. But there are different consistencies at which you can mix them. There's mildly thick, moderately thick, and extremely thick. They call this nectar and this is honey and this is pudding. So pretty good descriptors. So what I am going to be doing is testing out these three different consistencies and I'm gonna try thickening a beverage as well. On this chart, they include different types of drinks, apple juice, orange juice, cranberry juice, coffee, tea, milk, supplements, even pureed foods. It does not list Coke though, but I wanna know what a thick Coke tastes like. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, tasting thick water and thick Coke. So. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. It smells like plastic, but it's probably from the container. That's what it looks like. There's supposed to be a measuring spoon in here. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, come on. You buy a $25 container of this and you don't include a spoon? For reals. Oh, I, I do feel something. Okay. Alrighty, there it is. <laughs> it was way, way down there. So we do have a measuring spoon that's great, bright blue, and I'm assuming that's the tablespoon and that's a teaspoon. Yes, it says one tablespoon and one teaspoon on the inside. Not sure if that will show up on camera, pretty tiny. So we're gonna do uh, to four ounces. So four ounces, that is not much. Cold water for water. We want three and a half teaspoons. This is mildly thick or the nectar consistency. So one, two, three, and a half. And we're gonna mix it. And mix it until it's dissolved. So this is taking some work here. It is definitely not clear. And already it does look thicker. I'm not sure how you, t oh my gosh. I got thicken on me. So I think that's pretty much dissolved. And we'll let it rest for one minute. So that's what, the nectar looks like. I'm hoping it will go clear. It's definitely already starting to thicken. So the next one is moderately thick and it says four and a half to five teaspoons. One, two, so this has an extra teaspoon. Three, four, and a half. And this is the honey consistency. Okay, so that is the honey. And then for the pudding consistency, we're adding five teaspoons or two tablespoons. So there's kind of general measurements here. They don't say exactly. They say approximately three and a half to four, you know? I'm gonna go with one and a half tablespoons for the pudding. And we'll stir that up. 
a little bit more. It says up to two tablespoons. So let's, let's just put the whole two tablespoons and see what happens. Is this clearing up a little bit? It is not. So that's kind of disappointing. It's definitely not clearing up. We'll come back in a minute and I'm going to keep stirring these with the hopes that it clears up a bit because water that's not clear is suspicious. Whoa, that's definitely thicker. Oh, 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 this is going to be interesting. Right, lovelies, be back in one minute. lovelies we are back with our thickened waters our thick waters I also have a glass of plain simply boring water let's give that a taste cheers cold cold refreshing water quenching liquid I just heard it gurgle down love water there was a time in my life where I didn't like water I grew up drinking so many sweetie drinks that when I had water, I felt like it tasted bad <laughs> because I had no flavor. Isn't that interesting how your body adapts and your brain to different flavors, but love water now. So quenching, mm, I especially like fizzy water, but we're not talking about fizzy water today. We're talking about thick water. So next we're going to sample the nectar consistency of the thicket thick water. See how it pours off a spoon? If we compare that to regular water, that pours off much faster. Alrighty, let's try the nectar consistency of thick water. Here we go. Cheers. Mmm. It doesn't have a flavor. It's true. The texture is pretty off-putting. It's quite thick even though when you scoop it in a spoon and pour it it seems pretty fluid but in your mouth it's very detectable and very thick it's about as thick as a clam chowder it doesn't taste like clam chowder it just tastes neutral and plain it doesn't taste of anything it's not very pleasant in my opinion and it's all textural and this is coming from a person that loves all kinds of textural variety but because I know that this is supposed to be water, I have this association, this quenching, smooth, liquid, fluid substance that flows through my mouth and down my throat. This does not do that. My urge is to drink it like water, so I kind of draw it in as if you were drinking water, soup, a beverage, yet I don't need that much power, it just, I want to eat it with a spoon. It's so interesting. Maybe, maybe drink, eating it with a spoon would be different. Huh? So interesting. So when I have it in a spoon, it's so much better. Mm. Applesauce. Cold applesauce that's th a little bit thinner than applesauce. There's a kind of granularity to it. Yes, that's what it is. There is some texture. Not only is it thickened, uh, but it makes me think of sports drinks. If you have a Powerade or a Gatorade, even those have a little bit of viscosity, just a tiny bit, but it flows. This has a bumpiness to it, a granularity that's like applesauce. You can actually see it clinging to the sides of the glass. See it clinging to the sides of the glass? That's what I'm talking about. That's what you actually feel in your mouth, and that's what makes it feel like diluted applesauce. All right, so that was the loosest version. <laughs> That's the nectar. So that was supposed to be the easiest version. This next is the honey version, and this contains another teaspoon of the thicket. It too is not clear and thicker. Wow, the neighbor's dog is not happy. Let's give that a taste. Here we go, cheers. Mmm, wow. It's, that's really, really tough. The texture I'm having a real trouble with in terms of just drinking it because I know that I'm trying to drink water. Again, it's like applesauce. Now this feels more like regular applesauce, although this I think is still thinner than applesauce that we eat with a spoon, but drinking it is really difficult. But let's try the spoon experiment and see if that makes it any better. 
a bit. Oh, but not really. I think if this was flavored a little bit, it might be more like a dessert or like a food, but just as a, a water, really difficult. That's incredible. This is all a texture issue. The fla There's no flavor. It's all about texture and the texture is really off-putting. Definitely getting worse as it's getting thicker. Now let's try the thickest, which is the pudding consistency. So here's pudding. Wow. Is this even possible to drink? I don't know, it's so thick. I don't even know if it's possible to drink it. All right, let's try. Yeah, you can swallow it, but it's really difficult. Wow, this is incredible. Of all the things I've tasted in my years of doing this, this is probably one of the most difficult things to, to handle. So strange. I think it's because this is so far out of normalcy. I don't know. Some of the things I've tried have been pretty extreme, but they've all been kind of couched in the world of food and they're supposed to be edible and they're eaten by certain cultures and I have room for that but this feels so alien that's what it's like it's just so alien and removed from anything that's supposed to be natural at all there's no taste to it there's no flavor to it all right let's try it with a spoon maybe it'll be better that way no it's just really unpleasant. I can see why people refuse this, and I probably would too. I mean, I know that it's really important to get fluids and to drink enough water and to stay hydrated, but oh, there's gotta be a better way. Maybe adding some flavor to this, something to make it taste more like food, because as it is as water, it just, it's like your taste, it's like plastic. That's what it's like. It's like you're eating something like plastic because it's just so, far removed from any kind of food-like substance. There's no taste to it, but it's thick. And this has got to be one of the worst things I've ever tasted or consumed or tried, and I really empathize for those that have to consume their beverages or water this way. It's really difficult. Perhaps it's something you do kind of get used to. Maybe drinking it out of a straw makes it better. Let's try a straw. Gosh, the nectar is so much better after having the pudding thickness, but it's still pretty terrible. It doesn't really help that much. A little bit. Alrighty, lovelies, let's go ahead and try a thick version of Coke. <laughs> All right, next let's try a thick version of Coke. All right, good old Coke. Ah, oh, I love Coke. Ah. Fizzy, sweet, terribly sweet. Coke deliciousness. All right, four ounces of that. So now we have to determine what thickness we're going to be making our Coke. I guess we just make it thick, thick. Uh, that's so sad. It's already protesting you hear that like, no. Do you see that? We're whisking out all of the fizz. Let's give it a taste. Let's try drinking it first. Here we go. This is the pudding consistency. So this is super thick. Here we go. Cheers. I mean, it's so thick, it's practically chewable. I have to say it is better than the water. When I have something this thick, I'm thinking food. And when I think food, I think something to eat, something that has any flavor. So it's better than the water. It's still pretty terrible. Let's try it with a spoon. Hmm. Okay. It's still terrible, but having it with a spoon makes it again, feel more like a food experience rather than a beverage experience. Mm -hmm. So let's have a sip of Coke and be so, so grateful that we can enjoy the bubble and the fizz 
and the fluidity of a Coke. Mmm. <sighs> Senses restored. Oh my gosh. All right, Emma Lovelies, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Click that notification bell. Subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>I wish this was a glass bottle, but I couldn't find any in glass. I find the plastic version of Coke to be a little too fizzy. Call me Goldilocks, okay?